Welcome to random... Yeah. So before I made gold making guides for World of Warcraft and Arc Age, I used to do some investing in WoW, though I progressively gave up due to horrible results. Back in the Wrath of the Lich King expansion, I saw a level 12 Blood Elf Hunter advertising that he wanted to sell rough dynamite and rough copper bombs for two silver each. I messaged him, warning him he wouldn't make any money that way, then went over to a mailbox, wrote a letter explaining the engineering requirements to use them, and that they only functioned as dump items to level the trade skill, and with a letter I sent him 50 gold, about 100 golds worth of ore, and a recommendation to check prices on ore and bars on the auction house. Buy ore, smelt it into bars with mining, and resell them to make income while funding his engineering trade skill. After sending the mail, I messaged the hunter again, saying that I sent him some goodies that would help get his finances off the ground, only to be immediately greeted by red text, telling me the hunter had blocked me after my first message. Moments later, I saw the elf advertise in trade chat again, selling rough copper bombs, two silver each. Of course, since he had blocked me already, he wouldn't receive what I sent him, so there he sat, advertising in trade fruitlessly. I found that people that need help sometimes make it very difficult for others to help them. Nearing the mists of Pandaria expansion, a fundamentally religious hunter I had been acquainted with and had a habit for evangelizing to me about how great it was to be Catholic and complaining to me about Obama and how great Mitt Romney would be for the United States, despite being unable to answer basic questions about Mitt Romney's policies. This individual complained of an inability to afford a non-combat pet they wanted. I asked what professions they were using, and the answer was partially leveled jewel crafting, which seemed to not make money. In an attempt to educate this person, I loaned them 6,000 gold, 5,000 to purchase the pet, and another 1,000 to invest in leveling mining, specifically by buying ore, smelting it, and selling the bars to generate income instead of farming, and they would repay me the 6,000 gold without any interest after 7,000 had been made and a stable income was in place. Ore and bar prices on this server had been fairly stable. I had checked ore prices before giving my recommendation, and the 7,000 gold goal should have been reachable within five or six days, and for only a couple hours on actual time investment. Buying ore, smelting it, and posting stacks of bars on the auction house, and waiting for them to sell. A week later, their mining was level one, they claimed to have spent the gold on those oh-so-expensive hunter repair bills, and shortly thereafter, server transferred, the loan completely unrepaid. I found I had received a letter performing mental gymnastics, which hand-waved the debt, on the grounds that I was not properly religious, though at the time I still considered myself a deist. As a result of these incidents, and several more like them, the worst probably being one that blamed her in-game financial woes on having a female character, and discrimination when people buy auctions supposedly avoiding female names, the Bank of Pookie eventually closed its doors. The self-proclaimed feminist, though her positions didn't really match up to the literal definition of the word, was the most unsuccessful of my attempts to tutor people. I've observed that when people create a justification to place blame for all of their problems on, they seem to lose the will to do much about it, or even the capability. This incident didn't even end in me giving out a small loan or donation due to having my recommendation to take up mining dismissed on the grounds no one would buy her bars because she had a feminine name. While I had some successes and helped several friends establish proper incomes, usually by donating a few thousand gold in Kickstarter money along with a large amount of time giving advice, I couldn't offer my Kickstarter donations to people I didn't know personally because I risked getting a reputation for giving handouts and being pestered for money. I couldn't use a loan system either because I had nothing to make sure the gold was used for what I wanted it used for. 6,000 gold ultimately meant very little to me. The time I spent writing tutorial letters or explaining how to make gold in private messages was, I discovered, worth far more than the Kickstarter donation. While my older World of Warcraft gold-making guides are amateur quality, unscripted, contain uhs, ums, and pauses, the issue I feel with those videos was that I wasn't that good at communicating my points in a video. The most advanced script I had at the time was a piece of paper with some bullet points written on it. When you have nothing to protect your investment from people just deciding not to return it, that discourages lending, especially lending one's time. At one point, I posted on the Warcraft forum about an idea for loaning gold with safeties for the loaner to make sure the money is returned and used for its intended trade skill leveling, and was immediately accused of exploiting poor people and being a loan shark. The fact that I'd be making no money on loans that had no interest, or loans with interest taking more time to give out and collect than simply buying more ore and smelting it, of course didn't mitigate the perceived greed to the forum-goer. 
Sometimes I wonder if my forum etiquette was too poor to understand, or if it was a lack of good communication on my part, but regardless, I've made another distinct observation, which applies to most of people's positions. The highest standards of evidence possible are expected when a point is not already held, yet the lowest standards are set for points already agreed with. It's one of the main reasons I never found myself comfortable associating with conservatives or liberals as a group in the United States. It seems to lead to a state of mental gridlock, which is rather crippling when it includes financial information. So much time is spent telling a child how special they are and that they are entitled to accomplish anything, yet so little is spent showing them how to do it. Ah oh well. More on the topic some other time. I'll see you next time, YouTube.